everyone, Amy here. I am at home today. I thought I'd take you on my journey of filling the pots in front of my house with greens for winter. Um, now, even though we have beautiful porch pot kits and bolt greens and other items at the nursery, I thought I would just forage on my property. I have two acres here in Doylestown and see what I could come up with. Now, I did buy something. I bought this gorgeous winterberry because I have nothing like this on my property. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna need in the taller pot is a nice centerpiece. So I'm thinking that branch right there will do. I am also going to cut additional branches just to be used as filler. So I also have this spruce that fell this spring in a storm. So I have all of that to grab too if I need it. I also have this older juniper. Now if it had berries on it, I definitely cut some pieces, but it's not nice enough for my porch pots. If you remember, I did buy some beautiful winter berry, but the fruit of these euonymus is very showy this year. I could cut some of those off and use them as well. I don't plan on using these in my porch pots, but dried hydrangea are also a great choice. You can cut these off, use them as is, or don't be afraid to spray paint these. You could do white, silver, gold, red, whatever your porch pot desires like someone is keeping their eye on me inside. He's not quite happy that I'm out here without him. Next to Mr. Chipmunk, I have a very vibrant, very glossy Korean boxwood, and you know I'm taking some of that. I also have this very glossy holly. Definitely gonna take some of that for my porch pot. Now, if you cut holly at home, be sure you wear gloves. The last item I am going to grab today is my favorite item for a porch pot, and that is arborvita or cedar. These are arborvita. If you don't have any of these plants, I'm sure your neighbor does. Just be sure to ask first. You aren't just limited to the greens I use today. There are many more plants that work great in porch pots. Looks like I cut a lot more greens than my little bin could handle, but let's get started and see how long this takes and see what I end up with. So I think they actually came out pretty nice. Definitely looks better than an empty pot for the holiday season. From here, I'm going to water them. And to be honest, these will probably last for months. As long as it stays cool, uh, these pots will last for a very long time. Now again, if this is something that is not up your alley, us at Dayton Nursery, we have pre-made porch pot kits and porch pots, plus porch pot inserts. You can just take the whole thing and pop it right into your container. Uh, we also have those bulk greens and uh, the winter berry if you wanna add those to your pot as well. So let me know in the comments below, is this something you're gonna try? Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.